symbiotes are parasitic alien life forms that magnify the desires, in particular the hate, of their hosts. Their hosts will have superhuman power, often be unable to control their rage, and are capable of wreaking various kinds of havoc depending on their location and origin. And there have been many symbiotes in the MCU, the first of which you probably know well. The very first appearance of any symbiote in Marvel occurred in the 1984 Secret Wars. When Spider-Man's original outfit got damaged in battle, he found a strange machine he believed was capable of creating a new one for him. Instead of receiving a brand new red and blue suit, Spider-Man had a strange black mass attach itself to him. Eventually, Peter Parker recognizes that something about the symbiote is causing him to mistreat his loved ones, and once the influence of the symbiote was revealed, he discarded the black suit it gave him, which allowed the prayerful ex-reporter Eddie Brock to be discovered by the symbiote. Venom, Eddie Brock in symbiote form, debuted fully in 1988's The Amazing Spider-Man, possessing the same powers as Spider-Man, only with the added super strength and ferocity of Eddie Brock. Venom quickly became one of Spider-Man's most dangerous foes. After leaving New York City, Venom would establish himself as an anti-hero, a lethal protector of sorts on the West Coast, and Venom would become the origin point of nearly every other symbiote that would spawn on Earth, one of which was even more gruesome than himself. Contact with Cletus Cassidy resulted in the birth of Carnage, the single most deranged lethal, and sadistic villain of all time. Carnage debuted in 1992's The Amazing Spider-Man and is all of the maleficent power of a symbiote revealed. With a heart blacker than his symbiote parent Venom, Carnage is an even greater danger to Spider-Man and every other person in his vicinity in the MCU.